Low sodium cooking tips, simple ways to reduce salt without sacrificing flavor. Hello everyone, today we're tackling an important topic, how to reduce salt in your diet without losing out on flavor. Whether you're managing a health condition or just trying to eat healthier, this video is packed with tips to help you enjoy delicious low sodium meals. So let's dig in. First up, why reduce sodium? Eating too much salt can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and other health issues. Health experts recommend keeping sodium intake low to maintain optimal health, but how much is too much? Most guidelines suggest staying under 2,300 milligrams a day. That's about one teaspoon of table salt, and you could find that on the label. Now let's talk about where all this sodium comes from. A big part of our sodium intake is hidden in processed foods and meals eaten out. It's not just about the salt shaker on your table. To keep an eye on sodium, start reading food labels diligently. Look for the sodium content and be aware of the terms like soda, as in baking soda, sodium, and NA on ingredient lists. Moving on to the fun part, how to cook delicious meals with less sodium. I have a lot on my renaldiethq.com blog. Here's some fantastic cooking tips. Herbs and spices. Boost flavor naturally with herbs like basil, oregano, and thyme, or spices like cumin and chili. These can make your dish pop without any added salt. Citrus and vinegars, adding a splash of lemon juice or lime juice or vinegar, gives the dishes a fresh kick, enhancing flavors naturally. Roasting and grilling, these cooking methods bring out the natural sweetness and depth of vegetables and meats, reducing the need for extra salt. Let's also talk about tweaking your favorite recipes. For instance, when making a pasta dish, use fresh tomatoes and herbs instead of a canned sauce, which can be high in sodium. If you love Asian cuisine, opt for low sodium soy sauce or tamari to cut down on salt without sacrificing that umami flavor. Planning is key when it comes to reducing sodium. Plan your meals in advance and think about how to use natural flavor enhancers. Homemade soups, for example, are a great way to control the amount of salt used and they're often healthier than store-bought versions as far as salt is concerned. So to wrap up, remember that cutting down on sodium doesn't mean eating bland food. Experiment with different herbs and spices and a natural flavor enhancers to find out what works best for you. Be creative and have fun in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Try out these tips and share your favorite low sodium recipes in the comments below. And I have a ton on renaldiethq.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more healthy eating tips. And I will see you next time.